Hello everybody, today we're taking a look at these collaboration motors between T-Motor and Racer Star. They are 1106 6000 kV motors. They weigh almost 7.8 grams. They have approximately 72 millimeters of motor wire stock. They come in this green, red, black, and blue profile view. You can see here all the colors. We take a look at the windings and the air gap. And now let's go fly. As per usual with the smaller 1100 series motors, I am flying with a 3S 550 milliamp GNB battery. One of the best performing batteries in the market, also pretty reasonable. Uh, I don't think you're going to find that the punch outs are nuts or bonkers or mind blowing, but I think what this motor has going for it what is the overall balance of performance and efficiency. Uh, I let this out when I did that uh, last video here that these motors, surprisingly, I caught consistently almost a three minute flight out of it each and every time I flew it on, well, as long as I used the 553S battery. And I thought they performed very, very well. I wasn't disappointed in the punch outs. I, I, was, I didn't feel the motor lacked in any space within the throttle resolution. I felt it felt good on the sticks. It was easy to tune. It wasn't hyper notchy of motors that you know you had to get your, your D values way down and your P values way down. I think I have a close call on the chimney. Look for that coming up here. Uh, and later in this video, I think I do one of those power loops and I miss the chimney by what looks like maybe 10 or 12, maybe it's closer feet, but uh, that was pretty interesting. But again, I think these motors are just good performers. Uh, they're not cheap though. Uh, oftentimes with Racer Star, we think of cheap uh, maybe in only uh, durability or performance, but in this particular case, these motors come in at $12.99 a motor. So that is. Uh, going to take a hit to the wallet. You've seen other 1100 series motors get it more expensive than that, but not much. Usually it's coming from a company like Rotor X or maybe the, I can't remember what the dabs from um, the Rotor Riot crew cost. I, I never got a set. I know a few people asked me to review those and I, I just didn't, I haven't seen anything so far that makes me think I need to spend my money on it because that, that's what I'm doing with these motor tests is I'm spending my money on them. There's a close one. That's relatively close. That wasn't terrible. So when I get these motors, no one's sending me these motors for testing. I'm just going out and buying them. And the dabs just, they didn't seem all that interesting. Um, I am more interested in testing the Hype Train 1407s that we have in, and that's what I'll be putting on next. I think if you're a builder and you're looking at running 1100 series motors and you want something that's a good overall performer, uh, I think this is a good choice if your pocketbook can accept it. A real good value. I think below $10 and it would be a really good value. Uh, but at almost $13 a motor, that's that's a little bit pricey. I think I would still pay for it, especially if I were someone who's looking for flight time. Um, you know, I'm getting almost three minutes of flight. I would suspect if you're looking for longer flights and maybe you're just starting out learning FPV, that you're going to get a much longer flight, maybe a minute and a half more than I am. So four and a half to five minutes of flight on a two and a half inch prop, uh, that's pretty dang good. That is the flight performance of the T-Motor Racer Star RT11, an 1106 6000 kV motor rated for 2 and 3S. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please leave those in the section down below. I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.